Just yeah, kind of they're, like, they're like, let's get down. <laughs> let's get down. Bro, the lights made my Air Forces like this hot light pink with like Ooh. baby blue, like fucking uh, shoe ties. And it looks sick. That actually Come to light, bro. Yeah. But I was looking at I was like, dude, they should actually make like, a pair like this. It'd be fire. I I'm sure they do have a pair like that. I think they do. Yeah. They do. So. Oh. Welcome back to the podcast, guys. Uh, this is episode 12 of season 5. Sorry, we didn't um, post this on Friday. I've been uh, down tremendous, sick. Um, I'm getting over a little bit now. It's, it's better. Today, I have John and Gavin on, guys. Welcome back on. Gavin grabbing his mega coffee. All right, big one. What's, Signa- what's the uh, flavor is today? The that's the craze? Yeah, the signature latte. I, love the I had a free bev today, so I got the large. Like yeah, free 32 bev? ounce. 32 free ounce. Bev? It's like a $5 fucking drink. Dude. I was going to say, that, that's just expensive. expensive. It's come up. That's five bucks? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like... This is like crazy. This is I know. Bucks. Starbucks. I know. But Mondays, it's order ahead on Mondays, get 100 points on like the mobile app. No way. I got to do you that. You only need 200 to get a free bev, so yeah. you know what I mean? Just I got to do that. Steal. But um, there literally is Air Force like that. You literally walk out in the sun. And they, I kind of I don't mind the color wave actually, but you'd have to probably just wear like a white shirt and black shorts or something. Yeah, hundred percent. Mm. I would rock with those though. I I'm, think I'm you can customize. It. You can customize Air Forces, but I don't think you're gonna get that color like that. Like this pink was like a, it wasn't just like a hot pink. Like I don't think the leather pink would look good with it, but just the way it's like they made it pink on the lighting, it was sick. I don't even know how to describe it, but I was just looking at it. I was like, these are clean. Where are they? I don't. I can't find them, but there literally is, like, color changing when you walk out, like, Air Force Ones. I think these might... No. Well, those are cool, though. Those are different. Those are nice. Air Max, um... Are those Air Maxes? Nike Air Max Ones, yeah. But, obviously, we are back. We have to give you guys an episode either way. Um... Uh, we're Back here, the yeah, the fans. Um, we do have a couple of things in the works though, so hopefully soon or later we'll talk. We'll talk to you about that too, actually, because unless you know, I don't know what your schedule's like towards like the late evenings, then I you know, so we'll see how that goes. But I wanted uh, to jump into uh-huh. obviously. Well, this is supposed to be posted Friday, but we were going to talk about Conor McGregor and all that stuff like that. Um, broke his leg or what, what was it? A fracture? I don't understand uh, what I fucking think it happened was to him. Fractured. Yeah, there might have been a fracture. Uh, mental health. Let's see here. Um, Gregor's future, career-ending leg injury. Um, he can obviously return. Should he return? No, because his leg. A surgeon explains that Conor McGregor may have a technical advantage in the MMA after his leg break. So basically, he got a metal rod put in his leg. So his leg, like that part of the leg, is basically unbreakable. Bro, is Loki gonna help him? Yeah, yeah, I know. So if he fights Dustin Poirier it's again, he's just like, gonna keep kicking him. Like I can't feel it. Yo, oh, I, fuck yeah, that's what I mean. I, feel I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even use my fist. I just kick the whole time. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like RoboCop in there in the ring. So yeah, <laughs> just like, oh, just, like just um, a fucking <laughs> robot out there, dude. I'm like a machine. So the doctor did a video on. I was watching the video. It's really interesting if you guys want to watch it, but. Uh, his name is Dr. Rayner. He says uh, the titanium rod that he put in, it means that after surgery, he can walk on the leg normally without the fear of the bone that would break. Once it's healed, it's still in the bone, so it does offer an element of protection against a further fracture. So it's kind of like having a tibia inside a tibia. When you think of it that way, it might just be a secret weapon that McGregor has in his back pocket when he returns. In my opinion, in the future, it'll, make a, it'll take a lot more heat than what McGregor was cooking up at UFC 264 to the damage that leg when he returns to competition. So... Obviously, I think him kicking Poye, um, Poyer, is it Poye, Poyer, I don't fucking know. Dustin Poyer. Yeah, I would Dustin say Poye. Yeah. I don't uh, know, but... Is I, he yeah. asking the wrong guy? I yeah, don't know, I don't watch you say, bro. I think him constantly kicking him <coughs> led to him with the, the whole, like, leg fracture. So basically what happened was his, the bone... Like, obviously, you know, your bones can bend a little bit. Yeah. Uh-huh. So when he kept kicking him, his bone was bending, like, too much, I think it was. It's, a, it's, like, it's like a plastic effect, almost. Like, yeah. you know, like you bend plastic like that. So they were talking about that. The injury that we observed, as the forearm would be the weaker of the two bones in that interaction. Others, including Poirier, have suggested that the injury occurred with one of the first roundhouse kicks to the outside of Poirier. I heard and before the fight, he already had ankle uh, injuries. Already. I heard he had he, injury yeah, injury. his ankle's already like fucked that. up as it is. McGregor had suffered an injury to that leg while training for the fight. They thought that he may have cracked the tibia. He, so he went to go get it checked. We got a CAT scan or an X-ray. They said there was no significant damage to his actual like uh, leg. That's pre that's pre-fight with the pre-existing injury before that. Yeah, one? he had a pre. Uh, he was oh. honestly going to pull out, but he didn't. I mean, you've, you've seen the video of him fucking la da 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 right around the fucking yeah. moped, bro. I don't know what the fuck it was. But, I mean, I would like to see another fight because, obviously, you know, Conor McGregor. Your, wa- your wife is in me DMs. Oh, my. Your wife is in me DMs. <laughs> how did I even do that, bro? I don't oh, know Lord. how I even did that. Oh, Lord. 
A little hungover. <laughs> I was hungover. looking at you, bro. I saw you chipping it. It came right out of the fucking top. Lights on, but no one's home right now. Oh, right. now you're on your phone, now, huh? All right. Yeah. Oh lord. Come on, oh, you're on the two minute. You could have stopped and be like, "This segment sponsored by my father's salsa. Get the best oh, salsa. Shoot. You get salsa. You get some medusi with it." Guess you know? what I did? I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just went, "Oh lord!" <laughs> I put my mic down. Did you actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh lord. Um, you guys have been to Insomnia Cookies, right? I've been one too. Oh, that place is good. I went there for the first time with Joel. We were in Providence. All right, hold on. Uh, Before you even start. This. Oh boy, here we go. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen Joel in so Dude, long. Dude, this happens every time you bring up the name. I swear. But I feel like you hang out with him every day. Like, am I? Am I no, like, I don't hang out with him every day. I don't get. Well, I don't get every day with him. Um, but yeah, I went to Insomnia Cookies. Phenomenal. You Phenomenal like, dude, cookies. What did you get? So good. I, got, I just got two chocolate no. chip, chocolate chunk cookies because I didn't know what to get. Do you smother? Do you get the ice cream sandwich? No. Or I you just got two cookies. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, bro, I'm, so gonna, I'm trying to count calories. You look so disappointed. You I went to Insomnia <laughs> Cookies. I can go back. I got a Just car. Bro. I can go back. <laughs> I can go back, bro. I got a car. Oh, uh, you're missing out then. Yeah, you should have got the ice cream with And I had to go to the bathroom so fucking bad. So, you know how it is. I always go to the bathroom. I had to go to the bathroom so bad this time, right? I kept walking into every fucking store or food restaurant, whatever. Bathrooms are closed. You had to buy something. Close, close, close. And we're walking into this one store. Right? And there's this guy. We're near Brown University, by the way. Mm-hmm. Like that place, whatever. And this guy, this homeless guy comes up to me. He's, he's running, like walking towards me. I'm not looking at him. He says, you're the reason I'm homeless. Your school is killing us. And then I didn't look at him. <laughs> he's screaming at me. And then Joel was laughing in the background. He says to Joel, he says, uh, you you laughing at me? I'll kick you in the fucking balls. <laughs> and then we both go inside. I'm like, was he, was he yelling at me? And he's like, yeah, he was. He was yelling at me, too, because I laughed at him. I'm like, that's fucking awesome. And I end up uh, going to the bathroom at Chipotle. I got fucking Chipotle. I didn't want to get you any food. Find Chipotle, I know, bro. I'm like, holy shit, thank God. <laughs> really like, you shit out, really get your shit out, yeah. Yeah, bro, light was fucking, the, the sign was just shining. I'm like, ah. <laughs> But no, I really liked Insomnia Cookies. It was really good. It's a small shop, though. So. Yeah, it's super small. You yeah. Can, what do they just have, like, that little row of, like, bar stool chairs? Like, you'd sit yeah, on. It's that's really all small. they have. That's all they much, have. Yeah. Walking around, though, is kind of nice around there. It's a decent oh, yeah. strip. Yeah. It's a decent strip to walk around. It's oh, pretty yeah. cool. It's nice. I, I didn't see any of the bars, but... Yeah, honestly, I didn't really mm. get it. I don't know how much bars are really over in that area. I don't that's think they're, probably more. they're not Where's, like, many. the Alex and Ani ice rink? You know what that oh, is? Oh, yeah. Where's that in relation to it? Because I know there's a lot of bars Wait, and stuff near there. Um, I haven't been. I don't really go to the I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, I haven't really gone. I, I used to it. go to the Insomnia like all the time. No, I don't go anymore that often. Yeah, yeah I gotta watch have the you, calories now. The have calorie you been now. to. There's another cookie place. It's called like Crumble Cookie or something. Never been there before. Where's that? Uh, there's one in. Uh, I think there's one in like Methuen. Like right over the line of New Hampshire. Angie, maybe you have another good. a gateway to another thingy. Let's do like a, a cookie review. Let's go around. Man, I could do a cookie review as well. Cookie review? <laughs> yeah, I'm in, bro. You like it? Just go I like in, it, bro. Just, just do a review. No shit. Oh. Yeah, bro. One bite of the rules. One bite of the rules. <laughs> cookie from Insomnia. I just shoved the whole thing in my mouth. It was really good. <laughs> 7.5. Fuck, I need another one. <laughs> I guess I was thinking about that. Ratings. What would you actually rate that cookie? Would you, what kind of 8. cookie? 5. You said you got a chocolate chip cookie? 8.5 for a chocolate chip? Yeah, bro. It's a classic chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Yeah, it was yeah. a really good, It was so the chewy. Was warm, it was so warm. Chewy. Was warm. Yeah. The, the chocolate was melting. It was all my hands. Look like I wiped my ass with my hand. <laughs> um, <laughs> at, at the end of the night, when Joel dropped me off, he because um, we were running late because he kind of works so uh, late. I don't know how the fuck he works from like 7 to like 4. Damn. Was he landscaping, right? Yeah, landscaping. Mm-hmm. This guy, he calls his uh, boss Master. Master. Um, yeah. And he <laughs> got out of work. Thing, that's and such then, a thing to do. Yeah. So we flew down there, and then we went back. I had chocolate on my hands, and I, like, dapped them up. I was like, oh, my fault, bro. I forgot to wipe. <laughs> I was like, I'm just kidding. It's just chocolate, bro. You're good. You're chilling. But, uh, no, I, I really liked that part of Providence. It was pretty cool. Yeah, Providence I mean, has always been a nice, pretty, pretty nice area. That during, like, college, bro. Oh my god! I was gonna say everyone, every uh, girl just wants to fucking. I mean, fucking. they probably make a killing over yeah. there. With oh yeah, insomnia, just fucking people. They're just going, just fucking. Oh, the hammer, dude! If like, I would hammer, hammer, I would walk right over. Uh, they're open mad late too. They're open like super late, aren't they? So yeah, like, it's two, like two a.m. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they must fucking hate their jobs though when like the drunk people oh, come in. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Um, did you guys want to jump into a Q and A? I would love to. Q and A. The quote of the day is: "Never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life." Ooh, good one. Are you yeah. gonna do quote of the day every day? Or every <laughs> might, I might just put something like uh like Gandhi liked anal, you know? I like it. <laughs> I think he was a big anal guy, I don't know. I heard he was. Yeah, I got him on text message. 
Yeah, yeah it's speed now. Quick. Yeah, it's like almost like Santa. You just call him, he's right there. <laughs> but, got questions. You guys send in questions week in and week out. I also want to talk about this now. I cannot do the nut clapping symphony for my own good of Ugh. my uh, just being myself. Because if I ever go to a job one day and they, like I said, they pull up, you like clapping your nuts? <laughs> and then I say no. I'm like, oh, we have a video of you clapping. Well, you just gotta say, clapping. not that many people can do it. I'm unique. And then, then I get escorted up by security, and they say, you're a level three sex fighter. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, I'll start with the uh, the first question. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions. I got ten. I got ten questions. All right, all right, all right. From Emidis04, breakout wide receiver this year. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Wow, we're getting. The, I haven't thought about NFL in a minute. Um, has there been any like? Recent like people moving. Has anybody like left teams? Oh, you know I what? Think, Sorry, I, I think Amari Cooper this year. I know he's already good. Has he always been good last year? How good of a season did he have last year? Yeah, I feel like he was season. all right just because Dak was out like the whole year. Like I feel like I, I, he was like kind of like slept on, but like oh no, he's not really a breakout. He's already like he already is good, bro. I don't even fucking know. I think CD Lamb's gonna do good. Yo, who's that? Um. You just rubbing on your beard. The ASMR. No, I'm trying to think from the draft class like this year, yo. Like, who's a uh, Jamar Chase? What team is he on? Bengals. Bengals. Burrow, and he's back with his college teammate. Who's the Atlanta um, Falcons I, uh, tight end that they got? Oh, uh, Kyle Pitts. Is he? I know he's, he's, he's like a he's like a one in a once in a lifetime dude, ocean talent, I guess. Really? Yeah, that's what they're saying. I heard, he's like, the, I heard he's like the Evan Engram type tight end, but like, but he actually has hands. Yeah, actually, yeah. just way better and can actually he's stay on the field. He's built like a fucking receiver. Let's be honest here, but they just put him in the tight end, so <laughs> they have fucking defensive backs. Yeah, him. yeah, that's what I mean. He's, yeah. gonna, he's gonna be a force. I mean, I I don't want to say I don't want to be the seller. I just say Justin Jefferson right away. I think that's he what can, I was gonna say. I was gonna I say I was gonna say Justin Jefferson. I think he came back after will break out this year. I think have a good year. You think his hands gonna be better? I think it's gonna be a lot better. Yeah, I think it'll be a lot better. Wait, is Adam? He Thielen? was good for fantasy. Is Adam he Thielen still on Minnesota? Still? Yeah. Yeah. He staying there? Yeah. yeah. Justin Jefferson. I was gonna say Justin Jefferson, but he did really good last year. I don't yeah, think he has he a lot do. of expectations this yeah, year. I don't think he can. I think he's gonna meet the expectations. He's gonna get more touchdowns exceed. this year, maybe. Yeah, that's what he needs. He had not, what, not like seven or yeah. nine. Damn. Seven. I think. He had seven. Seven fourteen hundred receiving yards. That's pretty good. Um, great question. Uh, you want to answer the next one? That's a good question, actually. Yeah. From Emidis04. Favorite TV show? I don't watch TV. Um, what? You don't got one? Like, not even like a Netflix thing you see? I don't watch TV. I mean, if I said Netflix, I'd probably see Outer Banks, to be honest with you. It'd just be sell out. Okay, that's fair. Oh, Outer Banks 2 coming out July 3rd. I'm so excited. Isn't Stranger Things supposed to be coming out soon, too? Maybe, actually. Is no. that next year or is it this year? No, I don't it remember. Might be this year. Bro, because there's been a trailer for like the newest one that came out like literally. Like, I've never like, watched Stranger years. Things. It's a good. You, it's you, a, dude, you gotta watch Stranger yeah, Things. Yeah, it's pretty good. You really gotta watch there's Stranger like a, Things. Like, I have like a certain like you know demographic <laughs> that I watch, like, stuff that I watch. It's just not that I think. And I'm I'm telling you, like, it's a show for everyone. Like everyone loves yeah, that everyone. show. It's the same thing with like video games. Like there's only like one I can only play. Like I cannot play. Um. This fucking guy upstairs is fucking banging around the cat. <laughs> like, you know, Kyle? Doom? Like, Doom? Yeah, like Halo? I love like, Doom. I, love I Doom. can't play Doom. Why? I don't know why. I never played it either. It's too fast for you, probably. No, it's not too fast for me. It's not fast enough for me. Oh, I love I don't it. know. What, like, is it like a... Like a... I just can't describe it. If it's like... Oh, you know the Outer Worlds? Yeah. I like that game, but it's just like... I can't do the Borderlands stuff anymore. I can't. Like, it's kind of like Borderlands a little bit. Hmm. A, a, a game, game like Borderlands, I can't do Borderlands or Fallout. It's it reminds me of Fallout. Yeah, that, like it's that's okay, it but I keep that's getting devs, every time I do one objective, I get like forty fucking more. I'm like, bro. Yeah, I know. I want to know the storyline and I want to get through it. I don't want to sit here and fucking get you a lesbian girlfriend and make you got a fucking dress and a fucking pie cake. What the fuck are we doing here, huh? Okay. God okay. damn it! I was I never really played any of those games either. I know my video game taste is like super like. Like, it's like just like yours, but I'm very specific. It's like sports and like shooter games. Like I can't play nothing. I'll play anything. I literally will play anything. I like but, um. I like a way out so far. I like. I we have to finish that. Yeah, we do. Is that a show or a movie? Is that a show or a video, video game? game? Video game? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I made a second one where we literally butt fuck each other. Man. Well, yeah, dude. I, hope I like a golf. Go. I golf with friends. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 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 Stupid ass golf. <laughs> 
<laughs> golf and friends. Golf and friends. Friend. I don't have it. Bro, yet. Yeah, I know. I get it. I like it, bro. Pass. You got. How do you not have a game pass? You got I probably pass, did. Bro. I tried doing. I have a fourteen day trial if you want. I tried doing the three months for a dollar. I'm like, it wouldn't. It wouldn't fucking work. How, bro? I just. I did it. Um. On like the computer on my account. That's what uh, I did. Yeah, I might <laughs> no, I had the same problem. I couldn't do it on my Xbox. Yeah, it, would, it kept saying, <laughs> huh? "Don't read them all." I didn't read them all. I read two. Uh, I, I, I was gonna say to answer Wait, like, what's your the TV show. You need answer. Honestly, I don't really watch TV like that either. But one show I, I always used to watch all the time. I've already cycled through it, and there's like 80 episodes of this. Is uh, Workaholics. You ever seen Workaholics before? Uh, oh, can, can I've been me, talking about. Can you yeah. give me some like big star names in that show? Um, they're not, honestly, there's not even like any big stars. Well, uh, Adam, this, yeah. Adam Devine. Adam Devine. You know Adam Devine. I thought you were say Adam Levine. Like, yeah, Adam no. Levine. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I don't even know who the the rest of them. There's like Anders. I know his last name is not Holmvik, bro. I know it's in the show. His name's Anders Holmvik, but it's somebody else. It's a funny show though. Honestly, you just have to watch it. It's just there's really not in there either. Before. Like, Alright. Wait, I didn't um, answer. I didn't answer it. What's your favorite TV show? I like Breaking Bad, but like that's just an Breaking answer Breaking Bad everyone does. Too. That's the answer. I never got does. through. I never got through all that yet. I'm gonna say out of all the the shows I've watched, it's probably Outer Banks. I think because I don't think Outer I've ever watched a TV show for literally nine hours straight. I watched the entire thing from. I know. I kind of yeah, that too. too. Okay. I it's a, that, be, that was like show. quarantine too. So I was fucking like drinking. Uh, yeah. I, I was an alcoholic during quarantine. <laughs> So I was drinking, watching it. I was like, oh my god, Sarah Cameron, nice boobs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for the question. Um, from e 4 do you like gay sex? Um, mm. I'm not, like, you know, I don't particularly like gay sex, but I, there's nothing wrong with gay sex. <laughs> That's short, the best I'll way to answer I'll answer it, right? it short and sweet. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you like gay sex? Yeah. What about, what about mm-hmm. you? I'd say so. All right, All right. Well, uh, that's good. All right here, you want to read number four? Number four? Yeah. Um, coochie man. <laughs> no, 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 wait, no, 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 number four. four. Number four. Oh no! Oh, Ethan. Uh, from Emidas. Oh what? <laughs> okay, I see. How much weed do you smoke, Gavin? Hmm. <laughs> How much? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, that's a good one. That's a great question. Know, he's asking this because he's, I'm pretty sure he's he's at the gym and he saw you and Jack P like. Uh, I was probably literally <laughs> talking to hot box in your car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, well, when it comes to the gym, I'll smoke like a bowl or two here and there, but honestly, give or take, I, I don't want to, I, uh, I would say anywhere between a dub to at least an eighth a day. It depends, bro, because it depends who I'm with. Is it dub okay. a lot? I don't know how Dub's like two grams. Yeah. Is that a lot? <laughs> is that a lot? Like, just think yeah. about this. It depends who I'm with. If I'm with my sister the whole day, then it's like a fucking half. Bro, because we'll roll like Yeah. We'll roll like three blunts. Or whatever, here and there, blah blah blah. But yeah, I don't I mean I don't wanna say like I smoke a lot. You might. <laughs> Alright, Didn't you used to work out with him for a little bit? Like he's talking. Oh about? yeah, because he works at um Indus. He works at Indus, so he works like different shifts. So uh, sometimes I don't have to work out. And the other day he got yelled at because he was doing um Dumbo Rose wrong. The guy the guy that said this guy doesn't know how to fucking do it. He didn't. He didn't even ask to like, show him how to do it. He just yelled uh, at him. Really? Like if you're gonna like, scumbag. If you're gonna like correct someone about their form, at least be like you know helpful and don't yell at them and like Facts. just help them out. I would tell them the fuck. Uh, the, the question was uh, from Ethan was yeah. how much weed do you smoke, Gavin? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, not as much as you think, but I do do it every day. But you definitely probably see me lasered in the gym, Ethan. So. Fair. Great question. Great, great answer. He has definitely seen me lasered in there before, bro. Um, we got our fifth question it from. Uh, it helps. I'm yeah, me. Is it, yeah. That's actually he's actually curious about. This. Does it help? A lot of people ask me, bro. I have Serge, yeah. Serge Acosta comes it up actually, to me like every day. I see this kid gig, like laughing, coming at me. I'm obviously I'm laughing back. He's like, he's like, how high are you guys right now? I'm like, I'm <laughs> gone. He's like, does that shit really help? He's like, does that shit make you lift more? I was like, I don't know. I guess this is different for everybody. It's like there's people that can work through it and they get like focused. Like that's how I get. Like, sometimes I get too high where I feel like I'm about to, like, yak everywhere. Like, the days, like, I do this all the time for some reason. Like, I'll smoke. I'll get, like, Chipotle, like, 30 minutes before I go into the gym. And I'll hit a leg. And then I'll take pre-workout. So everything just hit me at once. The pre, ah, the, the fucking Chipotle, and then the weed. And I'm sitting there doing leg press and shit, ready to shit myself, ready to yak, bro. I'm, like, <laughs> sitting there, like, my hands up and shit, like, trying to, like, just breathe and shit. But, like, yeah, I guess it depends how you are, like, what your weed tolerance is, because... You can obviously be focused, or you can like fucking be paranoid, like like looking around and shit. That's how I used to be, bro. I used to bug out. So like, I don't know. I guess it's different for everybody. Great question. 
Um, I love it. Our next one's from Coochie Man. What does Bedesi smell like? And you don't answer this one. Mm-hmm. That's, that's you want to answer? You want to answer, answer that? I don't. I mean, I mean, I think everybody knows it smells like obviously you know booty dick and pussy but Of course. I mean, yeah, put it all together. What does that smell? It smells like diarrhea. That's the. <laughs> but that's, that's what Bedesi. <laughs> That's the closest. That's Bedusi, though, you know. Yeah. This is <laughs> just after, like, just think about it. You're having sex, right? Just sweat. Just your dick is just smelling like fucking ass, and the vagina's not gonna smell that great, you know. <laughs> no matter who it is, Thanks. you know, there's bacteria in there. It's just gonna smell like diarrhea in that room. If you're fucking her that Bro, much, but sometimes and if you do anal, oh my god, forget about it. Yeah, but sometimes I guess it's like. It smells like what they eat, you know what I mean? Like, I heard a lot of people be, like, eating, like, some, like, fresh fruit, like, pineapples or something. So, what shit. would yours smell like, Pizonis? I hope not. It's not good. It's not good if it's Pizonis. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Dude, pineapple, by the way, pineapple, bro. Pineapple. I had, I had it the, the other day, like, wow. It's been a long time since I've been pineapple. Dude, it's fucking good. I love pineapple. Especially, like, a good, actual, like, piece of pineapple. It's nice. I'd mm. rather have, like, watermelon or, like, an apple or something. I but love pineapple. Pineapple's like in apples. my top five. Is it like you like fresh pineapple or like the canned shit? I have fresh pineapple, bro. Mm-hmm. My parents they picked up a fucking pineapple the other day. I just started cutting it up and eating it. Mm. Like, oh, it's half gone. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's mine. It's my, it's my fucking pineapple now. You know, it's not. You know, it's not living here. SpongeBob. I am. <laughs> Great question. What's the next one? Yeah. Sure. Do you guys like gilfs from Greg Holt? Um. um yes. Like, oh. I like gilfs, but have you ever Thanks. seen like you know a good? A quality gilf, you know what yeah. I mean? Have you ever seen a gilf where their titties are not sagging, where they're just sitting up, nice and perky? That was it, dude. That's gotta be fake. Has that fake. ever? Is that ever? Has that happen? Fake. Have you ever seen a gilf with just perfectly sitting titties? <laughs> I like how he's just talking. He's just so still. Because <laughs> he's just so focused. Because yeah, he's just so low. Low. how high are you right now? Let's be honest. I'm not high at all. All right, all right. I can't even. I, I honestly, I I have like a disco in the car. I couldn't even hit it this morning. I woke up. I'm literally so hungover. I feel like ass. I literally. Well, well, I appreciate it coming well, in. Bro, I, I know you were like fucking a, hung over. I've had a two night thingy, bro, because we went to Brendan's two nights ago. Oh yeah, how was? I asked him about that. How was it? Uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good, but like everyone, I, I left like, dude, I couldn't fall asleep for some reason. I was pretty lasered too. Like we smoked in the car and stuff. I didn't really drink either. I didn't drink at all. I had like one nip all night. But I, we, we, I didn't drink at all. But I had one nip all night. Uh, so maybe, all right, so you know what I mean. This, guy's, know, a, you, this guy's a fucking poser, bro. Yeah. But, <laughs> 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 It was so funny because I don't think you ever met Chris White before. It sounds familiar. I, I haven't. That was my first that was time. That was your first time? Meeting Chris I used White. to play Xbox with him. That was like honestly my first time actually really being with him too, but I got him to smoke for the first time. I was and, We went oh to go smoke God. all together and he came out too because he wanted to come and walk. He was like, I'm so drunk right now. He's like, I want to try this. He's going to be drunk. I was like, I bet. I have a video of it. I'll have to show it to you later. It's hysterical. We got the kid to smoke one little rip out of a bowl. Like not even a whole bowl, just a fucking rip of the bowl. Took him. I mil- let it milk so hard because I lit it for him and pulled the thing out. I let it milk so hard. It took him three times to finish the whole thing, to finish the bong. I guess he greened out everywhere and he was super fucked. I sent you a video, didn't I? I showed you the one with Cam where, where it was like, oh lord. That was funny. Yeah. yeah, I made one of Chris too, but that shit was so funny. But yeah, it, that was good. But I ended up leaving at like five in the morning. I was up all night, bro. I woke up. I stayed up and I was just like, fuck it. I wanted to go home and go sleep. So Why'd I left. you fucking? Did you just lay down in your car again? Nah, the, I, I actually got a pull-out mattress with Justin. Oh, it's yeah, hot. there's a lot more room. But then yesterday, I went to this kid named Michael's house, and I was there till like probably two in the morning. I left too, but do you know Michael? You know Michael? Black. Yeah. Racist. No, I think I'm being serious. No, that's not. I'm not. I say too, but I say yeah. Not like that. Not like a beard, yeah, 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 beard. beard and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I think he's like a year younger than us. So. Um, that's just how I. Yeah. I get, actually, oh yeah. So now, now I'm here. Super hungry. Next question. From LeBron James. LeBron. Oh, Lord. LeBron James, I said. Oh, Lord. LeBron James. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going to call back. That's all I said. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> question is a state. Thanks, LeBron. Um, you want to the next one? <laughs> yeah, thanks, LeBron. Um, from <laughs> Red Master Blaster. I love it. What would be the first thing you would do if you had $1 million? Do you want, like, my like, serious answer? Or do you just want, like, you know, fuck around answer, you know? Get, I, serious. I'm a serious answer. What would you do? Probably that's, either that's try to invest it. Invest it in stocks. Maybe do some long-term stuff, some short-term deals. You know, get some I get an IRA going. You know, I don't know. Could you put all that in an IRA realistically? Yo, what's up? Uh, it's six thousand dollars a year. Max. Yo, but I mean, you could like throw it. Yeah, and then like, when you, that sucks though. Is like, when you're sixty, you have like what a million dollars. You're sixty though. 
You have that money. I want to have that money when I'm like 25, That's what I'm 30. saying now. What is it? What is it? An IRA? Have you heard of like a Roth IRA? That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. That's what it is, right? Yeah. Me and, me and, yeah. I say that. Me and Jack Abella were talking about that like a while ago. What was it about like sixty? You can have like half a mil or something like that if you do. Like, I mean, that's some, good for a If you have like a thousand, you put like a thousand in like a, a month or something like that. Something like that. For a thousand in for a month, starting now, to like you're sixty, I think you you'll have like almost like half a half a mil or something like that. Like that's really good for retirement. I get that for the future, yeah. like, really the far future. Yeah. But like I want to be fucking just swimming in it right now, you know. So I maybe obviously invest it. Uh, maybe buy some stocks, like buy, buy shares. Shares. It's still the same thing as talking about. Buy shares of Chipotle or buy shares of like places I like, you know? Would you ever like try to franchise a place? Good. Oh, a million dollars? Absolutely. <laughs> Would you Get ever try business. to franchise Chick fil A? Would you do that? Yeah. They make, they make over 200,000 dollars a year. I've already, I'd have to be business savvy. Um, I don't really have it. You, you have to have actual experience doing it. I don't have any experience like on like paper to do it. Yeah, but you got a million dollars. So I know. And All I have to write is that million dollars. I just want to do it wrong. <laughs> That's what I'd probably do is either do a franchise for uh, a fast food chain. Um, now what's what's probably your, buy a Tesla, put it down. Put I think so. What's the shits and giggles? What's your thing? Shits you just, and giggles. You can't you can't invest. You can't do anything. You have to spend it. What are you gonna spend it on? Go ahead. A lot of clothes. Um, probably buy a Tesla. Um, pay off my parents' house. Um, oh, what a good man. Yeah. I should have talked about that with the serious one instead of shits and giggles. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I'd do that. Um, probably pay off Kyle's student debt. Just get uh, that out of the way so he shuts the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Um, it's good. Probably buy a PC. Gaming PC. Hey, yeah. Start streaming. I love it. Not streaming with you, though. <laughs> Why? No, I'm just, well, you just gotta keep the... Yeah, we'll get canceled. Keep, <laughs> yeah. Keep the, kids. the words yeah. in the <laughs> yeah, He gets so rowdy when we play. <laughs> when we play, he gets so rowdy. We should well, yeah, go back to last year. I, I want to. I want. I was thinking about getting a. Dude, dude, I, I want to go to Best Buy either today or tomorrow and what, get a. What happened to your old? Get a webcam stuff? for my Xbox. Oh, you know. So uh, I can do back and forth. That'd be kind of gas. Yeah, if I play Warzone with you guys, but if I, I'm on PlayStation and do something else, I can live stream each one because I have webcam for my PlayStation. But. Yeah, I was gonna say I know you had the PlayStation webcam. I'd be fire with the Xbox too. Yeah, that'd be sick. But why was it for like million bucks? Like. Most expensive thing you can think of. Like, what are you buying? Instead of like these most things, expensive thing, like, I'm probably gonna buy a really crib. nice house. Yeah, it's probably just a house. Right? Maybe million I'll go dollar to crib. Texas and buy like a million dollar mansion. Yeah, just blow it all at once and can't pay my uh, my electrical bills <laughs> and water bill for this. <laughs> so you're just living in that thing. Yeah, you know, so living you know. with nothing in it. This is yeah, fine. what about you guys? I mean, I think I think the the easy answer is to you would have to buy a house. You have. To. You know what? I could see yeah, you no. honestly like buying a gym. I don't know why getting your own big gym and like having like people you running for you. Could be. That's like some Vinny Denny stuff. Yeah. That's what he no, wants. That's to like do, a Bradley smart. Martin kind of shit, bro. Yeah, I know his gym. Honestly, well, if I, if I stay that dedicated to it, that'd be fun to fire. I, I would buy a gym. You gotta expand it though. This is that's just a lot to go into it too. I know Bradley Martin. His first gym spent. He spent five hundred thousand dollars. That with, one with everything. gym that he has with everything. Yeah, and now he's moving that gym, LA gym, down the street, and he's got one. He's got one. I'll put one in Texas now. Texas. Out of everywhere yeah. he wanted to. Texas. Good. Everything's bigger in Texas. It's, it's fair. fair. Damn, yeah, well, a gym would actually be a good idea. But I, I like the house for sure. Just some kind of business will be good. Like having like something that will like stay for a while. Either a gym, yeah. fast food establishment. Ooh. Do whatever. What about you, John? I don't know. Um, honestly, I think I'd rather I would take the money and I would um, give it to charity. No. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, we're such I'll, assholes. I didn't think about that. Nah, that was sorry. a hard no. No. If I have any, if I have any left over, it's going straight to the bank. Or God, we had no. We were just straight so self centered. Yeah. <laughs> didn't even Look, think about you, charity. It's a million dollars to you. It's, didn't even um, think about charity for a second. Nah, fuck charity. Um, just kidding. Just kidding. Whoa. We love charity. Yo, we so people want to cut that up. We want to cut that up. We want to cut that up. And eat that up. Don't take that out of context. Oh, shit. Funny. I would actually probably go. And cruise around the world and see everything. I, I would oh. want to go travel. I would really want to go travel. That's a good ass idea. I would idea. love to go just do and see everything. That's that's what I would do with the million. You think dollars. you can travel the world though on a million bucks with a million bucks? You can get you, you can you yeah. can uh, cruise around the world for like uh, it's a couple of, like really a couple hundred around thousand. the whole world, really? Oh. Like probably hundred thousand. You can go. To, oh, you can go to space probably. Then they have like that. Oh going yeah, on you could. I don't know if I go to space though. I think I'd rather. Like if you had the opportunity, it was. Oh, actually, I would. Let's if just I say. Seven hundred fifty k. Majority of that million's gone to go to like Mars with like Elon Musk. Would you do it? Yeah. Have you there, seen? The there better be some good food at Mars. I've, yeah. <laughs> Have you, you seen the thing where it's um, an alien comes to Earth? He offers you a week in space, but it's um, it's like fifteen years of 
your life on you, Earth. You come back, it's 15 years later. Would you take it? No. So you're saying, like, if you go into, like, 20, you're going to come back as, like, Everyone's going to be 35, you're going to be 20. Yeah. If you were gone for a week, everyone was here for 15 years. Yeah, for 15 years. 15 years. Would Ooh. you do it? I'd do it. No. I'd do it. I don't know. I feel weird then, because then, like, all your friends are going to be old as fuck, and then it's just going to be, like... So it's like a one, it's like a once in a lifetime experience in space, where you're losing everybody you grew up with. It's like starting over. So it's just like, yeah. I don't know. Like imagine like come, I come back and I see him. He's like fucking seventy five. I'm still twenty. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. I'd do it. And that was only a week. It's only a week. Like I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know if I could do it. I don't know for space. Like why don't I don't know. What's even out there, bro? Like fucking you know, like know. planets and shit. That's what it is. They could be know. literally aliens with massive titties. They could. That's what I mean. That's true. That's true. I don't even know. Why does <laughs> you see like? Imagine like seeing like a spacecraft or some shit. Nothing like. Blows That's what you I'm up. saying. Like, I think for myself, I'm just gonna say no. Um, I'd say yeah. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think I can leave the friends and shit like that. I don't know. I. I. It's an opportunity. I just if I if passed it up, I would regret it every day. But yeah, yeah, it's true. Because you just never know what's actually out there, and like that's your chance to see it, but. I would actually just hate Wait, did you say, though, an stuff. alien concert? You're going to be, like, on board with an alien, though? Yeah, they're going to show you around in space. Oh, yeah. me, no, me, me, like, you, me. Yeah, like, you can understand that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, know walk, you, you walk yeah. in. He's like, an hey, welcome. How we doing? Yeah, you no. speak English? Yeah, we love English. <laughs> Babe, it's our favorite it's our first language. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, this is a it's good a great, question. It's a great question, by the way. Yeah, I have a good one right here. Oh, boy. <laughs> From Evo Jit. <laughs> How would you react if you learned how to catch a predator, but they mistook you for the actual predator? <laughs> <laughs> wow. In fact, this guy's put a lot of thought in this one. Well, wait, how would you react? What I react? Yeah. Oh my god. Hey, Chris! <laughs> how we doing? And then I get tackled by SWAT. <laughs> like, I'm not the guy, bro. Are, what those, are, you... the, are those the people that come. Is that with the Chris EDP Hansen? and shit? Yeah. And they came out with the, with the papers and, like, exposed them and shit, like, them type of people? Yeah. yeah. Have you what seen How to Catch a Predator, Chris Hansen? No. Damn, bro. Is that a TV like, show? Yeah. Yeah. That was like way. That's like a week. Yeah, Kyle's been on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, bro. I don't even know what I would say. I'd probably just start laughing. Though. Are you fucking I, serious? I know, you guys think it's me? I'm like, I'm flattered, but I don't. I'm not in that. Wrong guy this time. The wrong guy. They tackle me. I go to jail for seven years. I'm like, oh, by the way, Chris, I was innocent. You fucking idiot. Oh, Lord. What about you? What'd you do? I just play along with it. And I'll be, I'm Take the blame. <laughs> I'll be, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I just wanted to beat up that Badusi. <laughs> I just wanted to get in there. And Chris minute. is like, I respect it. <laughs> Why you, Gavin? I respect it. Um, honestly, I probably would go along with it too. Just in the end, so I know it's not me. I'd be like, yeah, I'm they're gonna rapist. like, they're gonna believe you I'm so hard. I'd be like, nah, they definitely. And then when they said this, you like, oh my god, that's not actually him. Oh, bro, do they actually have like SWAT and standby and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, like, hey, you're free to go. And it's like, psych, they they lie. They police. Have you seen it? You never seen it? I've never seen it. So they get a girl under, they get someone under the age of a girl. They message them. They come up. They're like, yo, my parents are home. Like, come over. It's like thirty year old guy like comes over. It usually oh, brings alcohol. And they alcohol. all just raid into the house after. And, and like, then, like, and the then Chris Hansen's like there, like, like I like get settled, and Chris Hansen comes over. He's like, "Hey, you're on How to Catch a Predator." And then boom, <laughs> FBI just comes in, raids them, and cuffs them. Boom, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's so how, cool. Here's how an episode of it goes. Ready? What a fire TV series. Say, um, you're the, you're the girl, right? I'm the guy. Yeah. Hey, how we doing? Hi, how you doing? Hi, um, I brought I brought some food. If you wanted to, you know, watch the game, maybe a little little, little fucky fuck. <laughs> oh lord, oh lord, please help me, Chris Hansen. And then you, you, you would have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And then Chris Hansen walks out. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? And he pulls out a whole fucking rap sheet of him just saying just the naughtiest shit. I know, to it's the yeah. girl. Fucking like, like the girl. So much evidence. The girl, like on, like they're saying the girl online is playing underage, but then the girl in real life, the actor is usually like oh, twenty, yeah, older, 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 older. Yeah. but. That's crazy. That's how it goes. And he's like, you're free to leave. And he walks out and the, the so FBI is there weirdos. to put him in the yeah. fucking car. That's so it. funny. See you yeah, later, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, stupid. You played yourself. Great question. From Our last one is from D- Dingy Eerie or Dingy Eerie. I don't know. Dingy? Like Dingy a dingy? Bear. I go Dingy Eerie. Dingy Eerie. Uh, how do you impress a girl for a oh, special Lord. occasion? Just whip out your cock. Yeah, you know, this time. Honestly, ca- okay. Helicopter. Whip out your, <laughs> whip out your That's cock a good one. and uh, rotate it around like a helicopter blade. <laughs> uh, this kind of like ties into the last night what Ramir was saying. Yeah, I was going to say. This I fucking have no, guy, I, Ramir, was like, why don't you guys talk about dating versus then and now? I don't. We don't fucking date. Dating? We don't. What the fuck am I supposed to say? Well, I want to answer this kid's question. I want to be somewhat helpful. 
Hopefully I can. How to impress a girl for a special occasion. Get her something she likes. Be nice to her. It's yeah, a obviously, special occasion. Obviously, you know, be yourself. Be yourself, uh, yeah. Maybe buy a flower. It depends Don't how far you bag. are with this girl. You know, you could be on like your third or fourth date. In that case, you, you, you haven't you know, entered her. I don't know what you're doing. You Spent out Dodger Stadium. Facts. Oh, yeah, Drake. Drake. Dodger yeah, Drake. Yeah, Drake. Nice if you date. have that kind of money, um, rent out a whole stadium for you and the lady. Um, I'll make sure to fly a drone over. Facts. Um, Me too. <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, got all that probably well. that, maybe buy flowers for her, you know, it's a nice gesture. Um, or what you want to do, if you want to just be negative, because girls love being shit on, Yeah. just be like, you look like a whore tonight, you know? <laughs> just really de de degrade her, and then pay for the meal, and then just drop her off at the nearest subway. Oh, fuck! Once you pay for the nearest meal? subway station. Once you pay for the meal, say how expensive her meal was. You gotta get yeah, on her bad let side, her know. bro. You gotta let but her what know. What you should mm. do, right, is if you're dating her, and then you better break up with her, right? You save all the tallies of how much you spent on her, and then you tell her right after. That's Damn. the Kyle Hebert method right there. Kyle Hebert? Oh, Lord, that's... Yeah. <laughs> In all serious, though, that's yeah, so serious, be yourself, be nice to her. Don't do anything um, we just said in the last minute and a half. Yeah, don't buy the penis pump. Um, unless, you mean, want yeah, to. unless you want to. Unless you want to. Yeah, unless you want to. You might want that, actually. Um, take that back. We also don't know how old this kid is. Yeah, so. take the glizzy pills. Take knock, some knock, Ashwagandha. Age, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if plus. the, the penis pump's good. Uh, well, take this Ashwagandha girl's 18 plus. Take the glizzy pills. Oh, yeah. We're actually going to hop oh, into that. It's kind of funny. Um, but, yeah. Thanks, guys, for the questions. We really do appreciate it. Um, keep sending them in. We love them. Uh, they get weirder and weirder every week as we go. Um, obviously, you want to jump into Glizzy. I put it on the uh, the list here. Glizzy pill update. Has there any been any uh, updates on your penis? Any, uh, any, any like two weeks in? I feel like it's probably going down. <laughs> I, think it's I was going to say the same thing. My thing is it's actually shrunk down. It's decaying. To no a no tic tac. <laughs> yeah, literally. You know that scene from SpongeBob where his nose like shrinks up and just. And he's, like, and he's in like Sandy's two dome bow and he's like drying up. Like, <laughs> like, oh. I I really I haven't seen any. Bro, uh, why does I get like a Ron Jeremy penis? So like like a fucking Jason Lovecock. It's just like fourteen inches from this. How do you Who know these? I don't even know these. I don't even know you just said. I know you know you gotta know is. Jason oh. Love. You have to know him. I, I feel like I do. If you looked up a photo. Oh my god! I don't want my computer to get fucking <laughs> viruses. Jason Love, look at him. Is he a comedian? No, he's just. A <laughs> <laughs> is he a comedian? Oh god, there's oh. images. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know yeah, this guy yeah, is. This guy, yeah. Yeah. yeah, look at this guy. Yeah, he's <laughs> that guy is fucking. <laughs> oh. Dude, maybe, but like, look at how big his fucking dick is. <laughs> <laughs> That's so unfair, bro. God, no wonder why. I, oh my god, fuck. You know, congratulations. You have a huge dick. Congrats. <laughs> the girl that he's fucking is. I forget her name is, but she is fucking. <laughs> Now I, now I just no. want to fucking kill myself. I'm open, by, I'm open by a month. I don't know. Someone's. I heard this thing makes it like naturally like an inch maybe. Half inch maybe. Bigger. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out because currently I have not grown a cat. fucking inch. How long have you been yeah, two weeks? Almost two months. Oh, what? You're two I, months. I, no, not two months. I've done a whole bottle, which is a whole month. Yeah, it's a whole okay. month. Um, and I've, I'm doing my second bottle now. Um, but I, feel, I don't feel any. I don't feel any different. My anxiety doesn't isn't going down. They're just fucking. Oh, honestly, I actually have seen better mood, like mood things. I noticed it. I feel a little better. I usually my mood's a lot uplifted. Maybe that's just because like I take it after the gym. Maybe because you're always like, high as fuck. I'm always know. in a good mood <laughs> after the gym. That could be a reason too, yeah. honestly. But <laughs> I think the moods are alright, but the glizziness part, I don't know, bro. Um, yeah, bro, it's fucking horseshit. I don't fucking. Know. Um, I wanted to jump into the nine most popular conspiracy theories in recent history. I'm gonna just list them off real quick. Then you guys you tell if you me. Believe him? Yeah, you guys not? believe it or not? Yep. Myths about the Holocaust. What are they? What, yeah. What are the myths? What are they saying? <laughs> Push that the anti-Semitic notion that the Holocaust was invented or exaggerated to garner sympathy and monetary gains for Jewish people while serving and advancing Jewish interests. I don't think so. I don't believe that one. I don't believe mm -mm. that one. Um, the CIA had a hand in, in JFK's assassination. Yes, I agree. Why I do they, Why do you think they uh, let him die? Um, he didn't want to do. He didn't want to go for Cuba. He didn't want to invade Cuba, so they were like, "All right, well, we have to." And the CIA put a hand in there. So there was. I think there was more than uh, one sniper. So though. you think Lee Harvey? I think bro, there was. I so think you don't there think, was think it was just, a really good ass documentary? Yeah, on there's that, bro. more. There's, there's a documentary more. that's fire about that. There's like a conspiracy. Yeah. There's a second shooter. There is, a, there was a second shooter. I do believe that. Yeah, it was. Um, because they said the way, it, like the angle the way the of the shot. Came, yeah, the way it came in, the, in his fucking angle, of the shot. They I, said, like, I do believe that. I believe that one. 
I don't know what to do. I don't fucking know. Well, I, the, I, have the to, I, have to, ex, I have to watch the video. That ex-marine that shot, like, wasn't yeah, like, he, yeah, was, wasn't he, like, was. he was in, like, part of the government. Technically, he like, fucking was an army dude. I don't so. know. The moon landing was faked. <sighs> what the fuck do you fake that? So there was, this is, like, actually a video of someone that actually apparently worked with NASA and said that it was fake. But, I could I could imagine it, but at the moment... They could have faked it because that they was... They faked it to make was, it seem like... Because, uh, you know, there was a whole space race. Yeah, I was just saying that they made it, so they probably made it so they thought, like, they got there first. I don't know. Beat them, and they Prin- didn't even go. The next one is Princess Diana's death was no accident. Ah, uh, yeah, I agree with that one. She was killed by someone. Which one's that? Is that the English, like... She probably. went to the tunnel, and she, like, just crashed her car. Uh, yeah. Probably. That was deaf, yeah. In the tunnel, too? Suspicious. Yeah, My, that's what I'm saying. That's, I was like, suspicious. Yeah, no. My favorite one, 9-11 was an inside job. I had a teacher at a professor at Bridgewater who said, there's no way that jet fuel could have melted those steel beams. I, no, and I agree with that. He thinks it's an inside job. He went to Harvard, too. I, I think homeless there's still. something. I think there was something yeah. that the, the was government that, did. Was Osama bin Laden, like... He was linked to that. I know, I know he was linked to it, but like, wasn't he like, didn't wasn't he like involved in our government at some point or something like that? Um, was he like? I don't. We gave them, we gave them guns. Was that fight, it? We, oh, we just gave, we just else. did them in business. I think we gave them guns to fight the Taliban or yeah, something, because, and then they used those guns on us. So. Yeah, I was gonna say because I thought he was like part of our thing for something. Like I knew he was connected, but then like I, I don't know. Yeah. I know I should probably know more about I, that. I. There was something that, uh, that, yeah. Another favorite among conspiracy theorists: the Pentagon was not hit by a plane, but by a missile. A fucking cruise missile. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, Call of Duty. <laughs> fucking. Uh, number strike. six: mass shootings like Sandy Hook were false flags. What does that mean? So the the Sandy Hook false flags was it was um. The kids they're saying actors? the slain children were hired actors. <laughs> Sandy Hook conspiracies spread far and wide, with some grieving parents releasing birth certificates to prove their children existed and having to deny requests to exhume their children's bodies. That what? is fucking awful. That is awful. I like you that. I top that. Uh, number seven. Top Democrats are behind a child sex ring. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha! Sex trafficking for the win. I can believe that. I believe that. I, uh, yeah. I literally I put my life on that. Yeah. There's some so shady, shady We don't know what's going on. on. The government. I um, hate but it. But, well, you know, isn't there like a, like a, an underground thing built at the Denver airport or something? Um, yeah, it was, um, like a bunker. It was a year, it was like a, a year or two over, but, uh, over. Budget. Yeah. Exactly. And it was a billion dollars over budget too. And there was employees that said that they were building something underground. And as you see the horse thing too. Yeah. Look, dude, that 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 airport's so creepy. Yeah. Oh. But they, at least they play into it. They have stuff that um. It's like, oh, like what's down this tunnel, and it's like just blocked off. The Earth is actually flat. Hoopla. Yeah. I think that's hoopla. Bullshit. Number nine, COVID nineteen as population control. Um. Yes. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah. Honestly. Oh, it was it was a bio. But I think it was created in a lab. It wasn't um natural was it was it a thing ar- was it around before though just like not like really known wasn't it around i think it was but it just wasn't. I, then again i can see them just fucking, i think it was created i can just lab, see them bro. making it in a lab and just in fucking injecting it into like a bat or something and that shit just kind of like sets yeah, it free I, don't, I don't know enough about the topic oh, bro where did it come from china don't they already have an overpopulated they, they, bullshit thing yeah, that's, what I'm, that's what they probably did you know for I mean? like, that's what i think it get, for i don't know but these are a lot of uh, interesting conspiracy theories. People, do you know how many people died from COVID? Oh, Not in the U, just like worldwide. I see it over under, I'm going to say. Do you think... Nah, this is a stretch, bro. Do you think a mil? What do you think? Do you think it's over under a mil? Over. Oh, my God. Way over a mil? I think it's like over 50 million. 50 million? I'd say like five. I was going to say like 2.5 mil. What do you think? 50 million? No, not 50. Oh, Why though? That. How far did it get? Is it in like, it was, is it everywhere across the world? Was it in like Africa, Europe and shit? And like, 2.5 mil. 4.09 million. 4 million. I said 5 mil. Yeah, you did. I'm close. Jesus. That's that crazy. And then, uh, the US had the most deaths with yeah. 608,000. Maybe some that weren't even accounted for too, you know that. The least amount of deaths was... Okay, fucking Christ! I knew New Zealand did a really good job at um, keeping it up. 
I'm trying to see who the last release was. I don't know. I got you got Qatar at six hundred. Um, that's crazy though. But yeah. that is gonna wrap up the podcast, you guys. Thank you guys for listening and watching. Uh, thank you guys for coming on again. I really do appreciate it a lot. Um, Always here. Don't worry about it. Yeah, hope you, hope you feel thank, better. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm, yeah. sh- I'm recovering now. I'm drinking this ice latte. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of bringing me back a little bit. <laughs> All right, make sure you guys do subscribe to the YouTube channel, Butter That Bread. Um, Instagram, Butter That Bread underscore podcast. This will be out as soon as possible. Um, by the time you're listening to this, every we recorded this on a Sunday. Hopefully, it's out Monday or Sunday night. So this was Butter That Bread podcast. See you later, boys. See you.